Control C. <sighs> Hello, everyone. My name is Delazar Slit. Now, we're going to be doing this video with a little bit of a penchant for just flair and dramaticism. I may or may not be coming in here with a ton of fucking hype, because I just finished, like, recording the Hell of a Boss video. Anyways, um, we're now watching Moondoggy, which means that this hype will slowly diminish as I start to open up my mind and diminish every sense of the word. Also, Moondoggy is an amazing animator and artist, and I love their videos, and they usually open my mind to other things. I think I have a playlist of their stuff. If not, there will be a playlist by the time I post this. Anyways. Your name. Yeah. One of my favorite things is the lead up to the release of something that I'm really excited about. Huh. Whether that be a video game <laughs> or my favorite manga getting adapted into an anime. Um or in this case Jesus. When that moment finally arrives, it almost feels like you're in a weird dream or something. Like, all of a sudden, here you are. 30 minutes early? And all that anticipation has led up to what you're hoping could be another life-changing experience. But he's about to be disappointed, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yep. Wait. Did I not like this movie? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I think that movie is great, but for some reason, I just... Didn't walk away from it feeling the way I'd hoped. And it kind of bothered me for a little while. Like, maybe there's something wrong with me. Bro, what? I get so oh my god. I hype myself out of it once the game actually comes out. I don't know if this might be term, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to coin a term now. Okay. I, I get hyped for something. Oh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Fair enough. I had one of those experiences with like a movie or an album or something that kind of just changes you for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Well, the most prominent ones of those for me have been with anime movies. And I think that's why at this point I particularly love going to see anime movies at the cinema. Never mind. Alright, some movies just aren't that serious. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I need to, I need to, um, I haven't seen this one, I haven't seen this one, I definitely did see this. The last half of it hits your heart and soul, but the first half is pretty chill. Obviously, the death of Ren Goku, <clears throat> it's not a spoiler, I don't give a damn who the fuck you are, you know Ren Goku died, um, yeah. Going to see what could be your next favorite movie, combined with being in an audience who's just as excited to see this thing as you are, is pretty hype. Yeah. Like, could you imagine being at the midnight premiere of something like Star Wars Episode One? I always thought that would have been one of the greatest experiences you could ever have in the cinema. It kind of bums me out. Because growing up, I remember a lot of people talking about it about that movie. I mean, Damn. I was, I was like three when the Phantom Menace came out, so you know, I thought it was pretty dope. I don't really care what it was. I didn't have to wait 16 years for that movie to come out. I don't think they were just hype fatigued. These motherfuckers were hype exhausted. What was going to happen in 16 years? When they first saw the original trilogy, they wouldn't have had any expectations. But now that time has passed, they would have decided for themselves what a good Star Wars movie was supposed to be. Kind of like how when you first start watching anime, your sense of what you like and dislike is really mm. loose. 
he kind of just thinks everything is good. So when I decided that Black Bullet was peak fiction and then realized it was not peak fiction. <laughs> Uh, twelve-year-old me really had a fucking dumb decision. Soft, malleable ball. But over time, as you watch more shows, that ball starts to become more and more firm, and you kind of figure out what it is you're actually looking for in an anime. And so eventually, your ball becomes nice and polished, and then ta da! Yeah, pearl. With your own personal taste, or in some cases, people end up with trash taste. Oh God, no. Maybe that's my problem though. Maybe my taste has just become a bit too rigid. I kind of already know what my favorite anime movies are, right? So maybe I'm just at a point where I found all my favorite things. So anything new just bounces right off of Hey Glass King. Damn. It's kinda of sad to think about. I really wanted to love this movie. Is he gonna have a good uplifting moment or is he gonna die here? Yeah. It is. I've always loved Moondoggy's fucking, like, setup. It's these bright, beautiful yeah. skies. God damn it, the lawnmower outside! Why? Why, motherfucker? Why? Please! Turn your lawnmower off, motherfucker! Please! Ah, shit. Fuck it. Nut busting? Bro got nut busted at the level on his meter. Probably so memorable because at the time of watching them, they were new. I really needed something like that. True. It's not like a movie just came along and changed my life forever. When I look back on it, my life was changing anyway. And those movies were just the things that helped me through it. But I'm gonna save that story for another time. And don't get me wrong. Some things are just crappy, but Damn. just because some movies or I mean, or that is fair. Whatever really can be life defining. For fuck's sake, I just found rare Americans again. Has to be. And just because it's not doesn't mean it's bad. Having some life changing epiphany every time you watch something would be exhausting. Not to mention unhealthy. Maybe once every few months is fine. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> things are just pretty good for what they are, and it's nice to appreciate them just for being that. A good day and a good message. A nice day, you know. You might just enjoy this view for a little while. As always, please. Go out there and subscribe to Moondoggy and watch his stuff. It's fucking amazing. This is a phenomenal fucking creator. Support them in every way. As for me, I'm going to be ending this video now. If you would like, like this video. If you have any of the opinions that I have voiced today, you like them. If you actually want to subscribe to me, that's perfectly fine as well. Please, only do so if you think I'm worthy of your subscription. Anyways, have a lovely day. Goodbye. Okay, hello everybody, I'm back.